Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I'm done wallowing and stalling um, and also the lawnmower is done as far as I can tell. So, uh, as far as I know, we are ready to go. I believe, I believe I've checked with everybody. I think probably in the last episode I did that, or in the, the, one of the previous, like, more recent ones. Uh, and if not, I will go back in time. But for now, a part of me is just like, it's time to go. It's time to go. I talked to Thane. He didn't have anything new to say. I'm pretty sure I finished everything with, like, Samara, Tally, Legion. I could be wrong, but... I don't know why I keep... I always... I always do this where I think I have to go, like, more central. But I don't. To, like, get out of the system. I can just... Pop out whatever edge I'm closest to. Woo! Woo! Okay, okay. I'm actually like, woo! Okay. Woo! Spooky, huh? Omega 4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. For the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to freely pass back and forth are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega 4. Some say there's a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there's some sort of form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. Yeah, uh, earthly paradise. I mean, I guess like you could say, oh, people are staying there and they're living happy lives. And often it is an impoverished underclass that, you know, sees hope where others only potentially see desolation simply because their own lives are so desolate. Are we just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go. Please confirm destination, yeah. Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. Oh, hang on a second. Before I do any of this. Okay, so I just talked for like three minutes, but I'm gonna like redo it. This is spoilers a bit for, well, a lot, a bit, kind of, yeah, medium spoilers for the suicide mission, but I really wanted to show this graphic, essentially, and as far as I know, this is the definitive graphic. This is the one I've seen for the last several years. This is the, this is, this is the one I recognize, so if there's a better one, let me know, but this is the one I know of. Um, so yeah, spoilers for suicide mission, um, but this is basically telling you all the different outcomes. It basically tells you a path to success, but it also tells you like potentially where you went wrong. Because the very first time I played Mass Effect 2, I was like, la di da skipping through the field of flowers, and it turns out there were bullets flying all over the place, and I, best, I basically just dodged bullets everywhere. And everybody survived, everything was perfect, it was super duper great. I was like, woohoo, you know? Um, I didn't know that there was a chance for people to die because I was like, I fully upgraded everything. I did everyone's missions, you know, like I did every quest in the game, like every mission. I was like, I'm good to go. And it was fine. Um, second time through, I did everybody's missions, did all these upgrades. This is why the, the upgrades are important. Cause if you armor upgraded, no, Jack dies. Shields upgraded, no, people die in this order. Weapons upgrade, nope, death in this order. Um, I didn't know that <laughs> my first or second time. So then I'm I'm going la la la, upgraded everything, and I get to the very end of the game, and all of a sudden there's like a scene in the cargo bay where there's a coffin. And I was like, what? And I, Shepard's there, and I'm looking, and it's it's Morden. It had Morden's name on the coffin. And I was like, what? Because he didn't die on screen. He died off screen. And I was like, what in the heck is going on? At least as far as I remember. Or I think I saw him maybe on the screen, like, fall behind a bit. But I thought it was just for dramatic stuff. Like, dramatic effect. But no, he dies. And I was like, I did everything exactly how I did it the first time around. And turns out, I did not. Because the first time around... And this is, this is what I have worked out over the years talking with people. And I, again, I haven't actually read, like, all the words <laughs> and everything on this. Um, 
which would help me understand these these number averages potentially better. <laughs> but um, what happened is so you so you have um, you have a, a primary squad, which is your squad that you usually bring, right? But then you have a secondary squad, which is everybody else besides the two people you bring with you. Um, and it depends, like who you have, um, yeah, who is leading the second fire team that. That affects things like Miranda, Jacob Bergeris, you know, all this stuff. The fire team leader dies or survives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, so I turns out what I done. I'm, I hope I'm making sense on all of this. Turns out what I'd done is I had changed the makeup of my squad from the first time around. The first time around, I did not bring Grunt with me. The second time around. I did bring Grunt with me, and what that did was mess with these averages. And this is just me. I could be told. I could be not totally wrong. I will potentially be not as nuanced or detailed <laughs> as somebody who like knows the like total ins and outs of this flowchart. But the only thing that me and other people would think of was that I brought Grunt with me on my primary squad, and so the secondary squad, the averages worked out in such a way that. Um, it was just below this like 2.0, right? Under 2.0 between 1.5. And I can't remember who else I had with me because the problem is, is if you bring, if you bring people who are too strong or like too durable, I guess, like who's, who's, power level essentially like basically their health level is too high it leaves the secondary squad with a smaller health pool and what happens is if you if you have like the 2.0 higher everyone survives if you don't just below 2.5 and you have five or more squad mates even even five or more like not just like a lower amount um one party member will die in this order and Morden is always first. And as you can see, it goes Morden, Tally, Kasumi, blah, 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 all the way up to like Thames, i.e. Grunt. This is essentially the order, as far as I know, of durability, of health pool. Morden has the smallest health pool, Grunt has the highest health pool. Um, and you know, and it goes from there, like in the in between. So by bringing Grunt with me, and I probably brought Thane with me too. Yeah, I definitely did on the second time. I definitely brought Thane with me. Um, I think the first time around, I brought Samara and Thane um, because I really like that combination of individuals. Um, which, which worked out, right? It wasn't like anybody super, like, they're, they're on the higher end, but it wasn't like, it wasn't detrimental to the squad, obviously. What I ended up bringing Grunt and Thane, it was too much durability taken from my secondary squad. And so, somebody died, and it had to be Morden. And it was off screen. Like, I'd done everything right except for that. So it's wild. You have all these, like, all these things that you have to, like, take into account if you want to, like, actually, like, you know, like, do, like, the perfect run or whatever. But so we have specialists in the events, right? Tally, Legion, or Kasumi. Obviously, the first time through, I sent Legion through. Or it was either, it was either Legion, Legion or Kasumi. Or Tal. No, I, who was it? Did, I can't remember the first time through. But these are the only three that make sense to me anyway. Tally. It was definitely not Kasumi the first time through. It was either, it was Tally or Legion. It's probably Tally. I think it was Tally because I was romancing. That's right. I was romancing Tally as a male shepherd. So it was Tally I sent through the vents. Because she's a freaking Corian. Like, you need to, the vents, they have to, like, open up these vents as you go along. And if you take too long, they'll die. <laughs> um... Like, if you take too long getting to each location where they have to open the vents, it's a really risky job. So, yeah. And then, yeah, you know, who is your specialist in the vents? Is she or she loyal? No, then they die, you know? If you send anybody but these three into the vents, they die. Because they're not specialists in it, you know? Um, if they're loyal, who is leading the first fire team? That's a whole other That's a whole other series of things that doesn't even necessarily relate to the specialist. But it's Miranda, Jacob Regaris, anyone else. You could send the right person through, but you have the wrong person leading in the death of the vent specialist, you know? Is he or she loyal? Is your team leader loyal? Yes, then the vent specialist survives. You know, which honestly, um, my first time through again, I obviously picked Garrus. I picked, well, not obviously, maybe, but I picked, obviously to me, I picked Garrus because Garrus is like my best, my best friend in Mass Effect 2, right? In a Mass Effect 1. Um, and, uh, well, actually, more, more in 2 and 3. But, like, you know, like, you get to be really close with him. He's your pal. Or, like, potentially you've romanced him. But, like, he's one of the ones who understands you the best. And, like, I just, I was like, obviously I'm going to have 
Garrus as as the leader because also he led he's, he he's the only one who's technically like led his own squad that's similar to Shepard's. Miranda has leadership experience, but it's in a different setting. Um, and also, I didn't really like Miranda. <laughs> and Jacob was like a non-entity essentially for the most part. So obviously, to me, it was Garrus. So I was like la la la, and of course, Garrus was loyal. So I was like, yay, everybody survives, you know. Um, but then, so the long walk essentially is, it was like, you just you have to like do this long gauntlet of like fighting. So who's your biotic specialist? You have Jack or Samara Morinth. Is she loyal? Yes. Barrier holds. Yes, right. You have to walk through this whole area where the barrier specialist like holds up a barrier. Um, if, if she's not loyal, then you have the death of the party members in this order. And I'm not actually sure why it's this order for the, for the, for the death of anybody. Cause Thane has like a higher, um, what do you want to call it? Um, durability, I guess. But he's also sick, technically, so maybe that's why. Um, and who was leading the secondary fire team? Again, I always said, um, okay, so I guess look, it looks like Mar if you pick Miranda, she doesn't even have to be loyal, and she will survive because she's she's technically your second in command, but I've always thought of Garrus as my second in command. Is he loyal? Yes, a fire team survives. Anybody else leading the fire team? The fire team leader dies. <laughs> so it's like, oh no. Um, and then escort. So at one point we're gonna have to you have to send somebody back to help escort who's there, so they're not gonna be able to help you anymore. Um, so somebody has to go back with you. Usually what I did with this one was I would send Jacob. Because I never used Jacob really, and he's also like he is like a leadership guy, he's got military experience. It made sense to me to send Jacob back with them. Um, but it doesn't matter, escort loyal, yes, escort and crew survive. If they're not loyal, escort um you know, they all die. <laughs> oh, and this one, though, if you, if the party member will survive, but the crew members die. What a terrible escort you were. The crew. How many missions did you complete between opening the Omega-4 relay and traveling through it? And here's the kicker where we're gonna, we're gonna have an issue. Um, ah, uh, yeah, right, everybody's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> not, not my crew, like, my immediate, like, my companions, but the, 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 the tertiary crew, I guess. Um, yes, obviously, yeah, um, squad members, you want you want your friends to be loyal. Holding the line, there's this whole, anyway, I should maybe, maybe I don't need to go into, like, the whole thing, but, like, um, it's, uh, maybe I've been talking too long about this. It's just really fascinating, and I really wanted to, like, show it off, essentially, like, how complicated it can actually be, but, like, as long as you've done everything correctly, for the most, like, you got all the, all the upgrades and stuff, and the loyalty, you'll be fine, it's just this one right here, where it's a kicker, it's, like, a three-part, like, thing, but then you have a hold-the-line situation, right, where, like, you have, I think you have to have, um, somebody in charge, um, and then, yeah, like, is it, is he loyal? Yeah. Or no, somebody has to, like, stay back or something? Oh, I can't remember. But yeah, this whole thing, are they loyal? Yes, then everybody survives. If not, no, this they die, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. So this is um, each individual person. Are they loyal? Yes. Then they'll probably, I don't know, they'll probably survive or something. I'm not actually 100% sure what this one's all about. But yeah, and then this one we already kind of went over where, you know, you have teammates. I think this is the number of teammates. I'm not 100% sure, but. Or no, this must be the number that's assigned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the number. That's right. This is the number that's assigned, and you get the average based off of these numbers from these individuals. Okay, yeah. Because that is Jack, Kasumi, Tally Morden, yes. That makes sense, because their durability is like a one if they're loyal. Zaid, Grunt, Garrus, are they loyal? Then their durability. And it also matters, like, I, um, oh no, yeah, so, so if you send an escort person off who's like a higher level individual, like a higher durability individual, again, that takes away from your secondary squad and can cause a, the death of a non, of a, of a non-party member, essentially. Um, anyway. This was potentially too long, but it's really fascinating, and I think it's super cool. <laughs> so, I wanted to go over that before we hopped into anything crazy. Before we hopped into this crazy, this crazy suicide mission, which is honestly legitimately wild. Like, nobody comes out of this thing, and we're gonna throw ourselves in there. And the, the elusive man's like, yeah, this was our best plan. I'm like, okay. 
Oh, uh, let's go. The collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. In body bags. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. That's just perfect amount of time for me. What's about to occur? <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, handsome. <laughs> See, uh, I... I have known I will die for many years. I've tried to leave the galaxy better than I found it. You've helped me achieve more than I thought possible. We've righted many wrongs. I've spoken to my son. I should be at peace on the eve of battle. Stop. Don't give me a speech. I'm ashamed. <laughs> He's crying. I have worked so hard, meditated and prayed and done good deeds, atoned for the evils I've done, prepared. I consider my body's death and a chill settles in my gut. I'm afraid, and it shames me. Pain. Be alive with me tonight. <clears throat> Cheesy! <laughs> two, two models trying to kiss in a game is never gonna look very good, I think. Well, maybe for a long time. Anyway... Mass Effect 2 got their NSFW content cut <laughs> because uh, CNN and stuff freaked out Shepard, about. I wish I had more information for about you. Mass Effect 1. I don't 1. like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. Anyway, you. I swear, there's one. Maybe, maybe no. It shouldn't. Back in the first game, I swear it would like it would like pay, it would like fade to black and then it would fade in to you two laying fully clothed on the bed and just like holding each other, you know? Um, so if they cut that, that's weird. But yeah, they got, they got, they got, uh, they got bombarded by news networks for the sex, the sort of sex scene in Mass Effect 1, so they like, were like, oh no, they had to cut it out because they're cowards. <laughs> no. But at that part, it makes my heart ache because he's like, the reason I think it's not it's not because he's like in my mind he's not fearing the death of like a, like going into the Omega 4 relay or anything but now like that part ne not necessarily what he's worried about but he's worried about I think more like his inevitable death of like slow death from the lungs and also the potential death in the Omega 4 relay because now he has more to live for before he like didn't talk to his son, he didn't have a lover like Shepard, you know, somebody who cared about him and that like w like made him feel alive, you know. And now when he's starting to feel more alive, he's realizing that mortality is like staring him in the face, not just from the Omega-4 relay, but in his own lungs, you know. So that always that seemed, was really poignant to me and very like, you know, heartbreaking is that... I don't know, and sometimes, what's that saying? The sort of a saying, right, where it's like, you know, you never feel so alive as when death is staring, like, looking you in the face or something like that, you know, when you... Yeah. So. Anyway. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I know we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. Thanks, Evil Dad. The first human to take a ship through and survive. Uh, come with it. I, I did take that option once. <laughs> I'm going to destroy the Collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Thanks. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. That's not supposed to be a cigarette. It's supposed to be a cigar. The elusive man smokes cigars. They take away the laying in bed scene because I'm so what? Stand by. That was all we had. That was the only scene they gave us. IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive court just lit up like a Christmas. Oh, good. 
drive core electrical charge at critical I'm actually still driving. terrified. I'm still terrified, honestly, that I'm gonna do something wrong! <laughs> Even though I have that flow chart. Oh yeah, raking in achievements. Let's see what happens. Yeah, Joker, this part's so exciting! <laughs> I'm glad I don't get to fly it, honestly. I, I prefer to enjoy watching. <sighs> Too close. Good thing we have the best pilot in the galaxy. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega-4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Yeah, this is like the galactic core. Not, not the galactic core. The it has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. No, I think it is. Yeah. The black hole at the center of the galaxy that, 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 that is at the center of every galaxy, essentially. But this is ours. This is our black hole. <laughs> Careful, Jeff. We have company. Oh, she called him Jeff, not Mr. Moreau. Taking evasive maneuvers. Ooh. They're just pissing me off. Speedy, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. <laughs> Don't say that. Another round. Let's give it to him. See? Jack would have died there if we didn't have the ablative coating. This music is so, like, tense. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it just makes me very anxious every time. Alert. Hull breach on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, Commander. Woo! We're doing it! No, this is fine. This is this is normal. This is a normal part of things. So we will definitely be... I can't believe they took out the bed. You know what? Actually, I might be misremembering. I think at, like post-suicide mission, I think you can... I might be totally making this up, but I think you can invite Thane up to your room, and it'll be... Or whoever you're romancing, right? And you can have a kiss, and then it fades to black, and then it fades out to like you two just laying in bed, fully clothed, on top of the sheets, <laughs> like just like giving each other a hug. <laughs> like <laughs> maybe that's what it is. I think that's what it is. But here we go, baby. So I won't. I would like. I do like. I do like to bring my boy, but I think I will bring. Now I'm a little scared. Who else do I want to bring? Thane's got some biotics and so do I. I should bring a tech specialist. But I want somebody who's not gonna die a lot. We went through a lot to get Legion. We sacrificed a lot of people for Legion. I believe this is the last level up. I'll just go ahead and give him that. I'm good to go. Make sure I have my... Well... I might actually want the collector particle bee for this. I'm gonna go with the collector particle beam. Looks good. I can always change my mind. Right now, I'm not, like, super worried about it. I've seen it. It's gonna be when we get into the base that it's more of an issue. Nope, nope. Don't go over top, you maniac! Jeez, I can't go over. Maybe I actually I think I can go over like they can. Okay, let's actually. I should be able to reload. 
You should be dead. Look at these holes in my cargo hold. Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Da, 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 da. This song? Oh, this song makes me hype, honestly. Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute not critical power. This is gonna hurt. Da, 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 da. This song is so hype. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Stop doing that! base see if you can find a place to land without drawing attention do we Too ever late. yeah it's like they're sending out an old friend to <gasps> greet us. oh this is gonna be good this is gonna be good just just you wait it's gonna be good man they've made this cutscene look really nice like the whole thing, the whole, the, all these cutscenes coming into here look really nice. Absolutely not. Not this time. Fire the main gun. Look at that thing. Sons of bitches! <laughs> close and finish them off. <laughs> Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! Joker's like, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Give him hell, girl. Yeah, how's it feel, huh? How's it feel to be blown up? Maybe we shouldn't have gotten in close when we. Field generators are offline. Edie, give me something. When we have a long-range weapon. Oh, oh, that physically hurt me. And Joker's broken every bone in his body. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Yeah, no, is it? Calm down, you. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors did not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, their external sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. 
Are we ever lucky? In this instance, we are. <laughs> I have upgraded all of you to the best of my abilities! Earned your loyalty! Your love! This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors. And that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation. I think it shaft. is a fortress. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? I'll probably go with Tally. No, let's do Kasumi, actually. Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the Collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the door. Uh -huh. Not so uh -huh. fast, leader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. That Garrus is like, no. A popularity contest. Lives are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. Garrus, then. Obviously. Like, this is wild to me. I know she's, like, she's technically my second in command on this ship, but she's also spying on me. And also, if nobody likes you, you're not going to make a very effective leader in a highly emotional situation like this. Not necessarily highly emotional, but, like, a highly fraught situation. Like, yes, she has the experience, but also, there nobody thinks Miranda's going to, like, take a step back to try to save you, even if, like, there was a shot. You know, like, if you tripped and, like, fell over, Miranda's just going to keep going. Which, to be fair, is, like you know very pragmatic in some ways very practical but it's very cold and like it's hard to trust somebody like that at least i would think especially when these people these aren't military people like if you're military like and you're all trained in the same squad like even if you don't like your leader maybe like you'll do you know you know you need to follow for the squad safety you need to follow this leader but like this is a hodgepodge group of friends you know with a variety of backgrounds and trainings and she doesn't necessarily have the experience in leading that kind of group also, nobody likes her. Everybody likes Gareth. Gareth has, has experience leading a hodgepodge group. So it gives you descriptions, too, of everybody, right? He's versatile and can adapt to nearly any situation, but no. Think, obviously, veteran officer, combat, he's gathered a wealth of experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Gareth. Gareth, you're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. Listen, Miranda. I, d I don't want to be, like, mean to Miranda, but it's like, no, like... Garrus. I don't know what we're gonna find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not gonna be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. We don't know how many the Collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. Heck yeah! That's what we can do here today. It ends with us. They wanna know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. Yes! Wow, I'm hype! <laughs> Legit! I'm so hype. Whoop whoop. Who am I bringing with me? Thing. And Legion. This is actually kind of a bad idea, isn't it? Well, no. He has an assault rifle. Right? Yeah, he's got an assault rifle. He's fine. Let's actually, should we give Thane... 
Oh, that's right. No, Thane, the best Thane can get is the incisor. Legion's the only one who can have the Widow Anti-Material Rifle. Let's go, baby! Take care, my friends. <laughs> I love it so much. So I did forget to do an actual ending. So please take this scuffed ending as a consolation prize, I guess. But thank you all so much for joining me on this. I just got too excited and I kept playing for like another 10 minutes. And I was like, wait, I have to end the video. <laughs> so, but that'll go into the next video. So that's, that's exciting. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me on this. I appreciate it a lot. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Christopher, thank you so much for your support. I'm sorry, I'm dying <laughs> in a hotel. <laughs> um, I hope you're enjoying the suicide mission so far. Uh, things are things are get heating up. It's exciting. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you to Adam, who is also a super bestest. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.